also the fun back to today got a really quick of course talking about video one to the really quick of course but yeah um that or something or maybe someone else yeah um happy thanksgiving to everybody time's recording is thanksgiving happy 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 thanksgiving for you guys so yeah um i'm back with another, another duck and bow video i got some more stuff to do today i got like three more videos to quick after this so yeah look at i know i'm gonna go for this video so yeah other, other, otherwise the other videos probably will be done but we do the new easy area for Lord Slug and of course Kyle King Goku. It is up on global right now. Um, I pretty much wrote this for JP. I never released the video because it was just utter mess anyway. So, um, yeah. Um, of course, we got everything up here in the game right now. I'm sorry about my lighting for the camera. I just, I didn't feel, I, I got too much to do today anyway. So yeah, of course, he's getting his easy A. Um, he has a card for the LR Frizz easy A. So make sure to grind him up, get him rainbow because he's required. Um, no, L yeah, LR Frizz campaign. And of course, Lord Slug, he has a card for the LR Goku campaign, which should be coming soon. I will make another video on that. I wasn't really going to because I didn't really care, but I'm going to do a video on it. So it's like, I'm over me this field thing though. So yeah, if, I, if I'm covering JP, it's like, okay, global, cool, I already know what to do anyway. So yeah. Um, but of course, though, um, it should be live the game right now. Um, this is the main easy area. Of course, that's two stages. Kyle King Goku and of course the free play Lotus Slug. I was gonna have gameplay in the background, but sadly I did not have time for that today. Um but yeah though, um let's use some on uh, my thing a little bit. So yeah, um yeah of course um it hurts pretty simple and easy though. Um basically with the characters you can use they are all really good now. Um right here it could have them are a little bit summable have them are free play. Um, of course, for the Z Heart Path, we go for the regular um, bronze. You'll get um, bronze medals for the for the regular type of um, base medals. Um, you'll get left, for the path. You get times two. You'll get bronze or um, you'll get bronze three, two to three. And for the next path, it'll be times two. You'll get seven silver. Um, if you the question mark, it'll be for five bronze and of course fourteen silver. And for Zipper Stage, it will be for left path, it'll be times two. And for gold, it'll be times five. Um the right the right path will be times two, of course, like I said before. Uh maybe like two different types of um you know paths and stuff like that. We're on the map. Um times high rainbow and you question mark three times high rainbow for either gold or rainbow, either or so yeah. Um either for bronze separate and for silver separate. I feel like it should be kind of both, but I guess because for bronze you just need like fifteen, I guess you got like what, 14, 15. You probably wouldn't have been done by now, so I guess that's why they kinda of lowered it on bronze, but for silver like gold, they gotta go all out. Because they know it's like for gold and rainbow it is dick quite hard. So yeah, um again you do the first stage, it's not hard. The second stage is a little bit more of a difficult thing. I've not done it myself. But yeah, I mean usually the units you can really use on here are all really good. The main units you really want to probably use is this piccolo. He is the main leader for him. If you have him on global, really easy eight, because the easy eight area is back for this guy. If you want to get him up in rainbow and done, go ahead. Not up in rainbow, but if you want to get him done. It's a really easy, um, it came out the, oh, wait, oh, wait, on May, oh my god, it came out on Saiyan Day. Like, this one got easy. And yeah, because I remember I was doing the video for um, E-Jump for Kaguya and Goku and now. Um, oh, I'm about I remember when that came out, so yeah. Um, he's probably the best leader for this because he has times four, he has, he has a bunch of Vegeta, it's a little, good, a little bit, not stats wise, I think it's like 50% for his easy area. Um, I know that's what Team Bro is using it. It's up on Google right now. Yeah. Um, but yeah, though, honestly. Um, really good though for this guy. I mean, his blue skill is gonna be good. He's gonna be linking well with Lotus Slug. And if you have Ella Pombo Krillin, he's gonna be amazing as well on here because, um, you know, he's, he's again, I haven't linked level 10, so he's gonna be doing a lot of damage. Even like on Kyle King Goku, even on Lotus Slug, he's gonna be really good for Slug's event because he, he's just an insane, insane monster unit. He does a lot of damage. He'll give himself a lot of key and stuff like that. They're finding multiple enemies and he'll just give himself, he's self sufficient, so he'll give himself a lot of key. Yeah, sharing the limit, like some of these dudes on here, like the um, Piccolo right here. He's gonna like amazingly well with him. If, if Goku was AGO, uh, you know, if he, if he was, um, if Goku was um SCR. No, he is SCR. Um if he was int, he would have destroyed. But yeah. Um then of course we got um yeah right here, another amazing unit again, reducing damage, tanking, you have a piccolo on rotation or uh, if you have a big little rotation, he can be insane. He'll get crits in front of like a bloodline enemy, which you're not in this easy area, so sadly, you cannot do that. So, yeah. Um, overall, though, for this guy, I'd say okay, he's gonna be great too because he's only like, oh, a slug because he's a free he's, um, a physical work that we can use. I think you cannot use it's a sort of big use. You are completely fun. Um, oh, thing up there, it's kind of fun, but yeah. Again, Nail is amazing. Like, he really is good. Use him, probably use him. Maybe have him use him. Um, I, I don't have mine awakened. I have a whole bunch of cards. I have a whole bunch of cards. Yeah. If you want to go for additional for him, do that because he does. He, 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 infinitely, he infinitely does raise his attack and defense, and that is amazing for this guy. Like, give him four additional. He's going to have auto crit anyway against, like, working ball on enemies. So, yeah, again, you're not going to be fighting one here, but he's going to be linking well. Amazingly well, uh, well pick up on slot. Um, another unit right here, um, the Icarus Gohan, he just, he just, does, he just does a lot, he's insane, he's gonna be dodging, again, he has a paragraph long passive, like, LR Freeza and stuff like that, he's got a little bit built like that, but he's gonna be still really good, um, I do have him, I don't have him awakened, though, um, I have his mill right though, this Krillin right here, um, unfortunately, this year, out on JP, this comes up back on JP randomly, um, you can use this Krillin, if you do have LR Prime Battle Krillin, amazing leader skill, amazing guard, 
Um, which again, like maybe your first or second slot, he's gonna just be guarding and stuff like that and tanking. Um, not really reducing damage, but he's just gonna be tanking, guarding a lot and stuff like that. Especially when your HP gets under a certain threshold, he's gonna be amazingly good. So yeah, of course, again, if you do not have Ella Prime or Krillin, he's gonna be your next best bet. If you want to use him as a later skill. Again, Global, he does not have his awakening yet, so yeah, unfortunately, he does not. Um, so of course, we have the Lord Slug right here. If you want to use him, you can go ahead. He's actually still really solid still nowadays, but I think you can't run him in the tech one because um, him and the Goku are required for the um, UZA area. Um, yeah, they are required. So you had, you had to have him on the team at least before you can actually do anything like that. So yeah, of course, you had to do the Lord Slug. I, I see, he actually is still really solid though. I heard, I, I haven't really seen games like that. Because he, when he first came out, a lot of people didn't talk about him. He was really underrated, but he actually is still a pretty good solid unit for the Giants. He's pretty okay, though. Again, I just been a vlog man, so whatever that guy. He did do um story event right here for the Lord Slug event. Um, it's pretty awesome. Um, kind of like really simple to kind of go through, I guess. Um, I don't know. I mean, he's only, he's only a couple of stages though, so I don't think it's been okay on that. Oh, okay. I mean, actually, go back up that much. So yeah, um, that should be that. And of course, right here we have um, of course, Lord Slug. Um, I did go over him when he came out for um, JP and stuff like that. Again, um, it's been a long run, so I so really went over this guy. So, yeah, he just, he's a 19 types key 3 leader, everything up 77%, or a tech type leader, everything up 50%. He does pin damage with a medium chance of stunning, and of course, if he gets plus 3 key and attack defense plus 100%, he raises attack defense up by 30%. Basically, the more HP you have, the better the boost, so he's gonna have that. Um, set boost and stuff like that. I love those type of units that are built like that, they're amazing. Plus, an additional attack defense plus 30%, but hitting two more enemies, and he doesn't reduce damage by 30%, when HP 30%. Oh, again, links to categories don't really change that much, but yeah, again, he's, he's one of those units that has Awakening and EZA, just like the Frieza did. He had Awakening and Auto EZA, because before EZA, he probably was like one of the worst free play units in the game. This guy, again, he's amazing, good, again, give himself key, he's doing self-sufficient, raising attack and defense up a lot, tanking a lot, a little bit, healing himself up, a good, amazing, he has a card for the LR Goku EZA, so you could, you want to go ahead and get him. I'll make a full guy when that comes out, of course, when global, it should be the end of December, but like, I think, on the, oh, Christmas Day, I think, Christmas Eve day, so, Christmas Eve, so, again, this is, this is really what happens for me, it usually does happen a lot, so yeah. Of course, Kakin Goku, he has a card for LR Freeza's EZA, so he does, he's a pure Saiyan's leader, key 3, everything up to 77%. Or STR, um, or STR, everything up 50%. Um, he grab his attack for one turn, he causes supreme damage. Um, and of course, he does attack defense plus 77%, key 3, and plus additional attack defense plus 77%, the HP 77, 77% or less, plus additional attack plus 30%, and high chance of performing a crit when there's a pickle on the team. So, yeah, again, he, it, him and, because he is required for um, LR Freeza's EZA. I was right here and you have Piccolo on. If you have him and Piccolo on, like on the team, they say team? I think it says team. Yeah, on the team, at least on the team, he's gonna be just critting. So if you wanna go for additional first guy, test out his limits with um, a lot, uh, test out his limits with his attack and get Piccolo on here for crits and stuff like that, it's really, really simple. And easy. So that's all, I really want to go, that's all I really want to go over today. Again, really trying to make this video that long. I had to get straight right into it. Sorry I went too fast or not, but again, I got lots of dudes today, so yeah. Um, Again, I don't know when I'm going to upload this video, but yeah, the Gohan, Piccolo, the other Piccolo, the other news are okay. The Piccolo, Go, um, Gohan, and of course, Goku are pretty okay. I know it's a little bit better, I think, on Global than JP. I haven't seen stuff like that yet. But yeah, um, and Gohan's going to be pretty solid as well, though. I can get back and forth here. But yeah. Um, I just took a shower next month ago, so that's why I kind of look weird. But yeah, Piccolo's amazing leader. Um, Kyle and Goku again. Um, this event should be probably pretty much pretty much easy. again. Nail's gonna nail the first part. He says that could be really good here, but if you want to try to risk it for the biscuit, you can go ahead. But the eight units should be pretty okay as well. Um, no, because they are free play. I had to go on Rainbow Fly up ever now, so he's gonna be probably get Awakening, be useful in the future, whatever. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and end here, like I said. So yeah, see you guys later, though. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Great luck. I'll catch again, though. Make sure to get these guys from the um, for basically for Lord Slug right here. He has Bacard for LR Goku EZA, and this Goku right here is Bacard for LR Freeza's EZA. Make sure you get him farmed up. All you gotta do have him is Rainbow in 100%. All you gotta do, you do not, you do not have to have him say 10, 15, whatever, 20, doesn't matter. All you gotta do is give him at least Rainbow and EZA. All you gotta do. All you gotta do. I mean, you had to have him Rainbow, I don't think, but... I just didn't think it's fully easy. You don't have to have him rainbow, I don't think, but you had to rainbow. You had to have him SA 10 um, to rainbow them anyway, so. Huh? So, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and hear, like I said, though. So, yeah, see you guys later, though, again, though. Um, Alright, so. Just gonna end up on this skin a little bit, though. Sorry about that, for that little delay, though. But, yeah, I um, hope you guys get farmed up, done. Make sure again, easy is farmed. You had to have him ready and stuff like that. So, yeah, see you guys later, though, again, though. Peace out.